What's up, people? You're now listening to Freak Mob Radio. Today's guest might seem like a shy, wholesome girl, but in my opinion, she's one of the most exciting performers to watch right now in adult. And I've been getting a lot of other producers that's been telling me, yo, go get this chick, go get this chick. So, you know, if enough people tell me that, I'm going to listen. Got her, brought her in. Everybody welcome, Rebel Ryder. Yay! <laughs> how you doing, Rebel? Good, how are you? Weird. So I kind of get the feeling that you're one of them performers that's like pretty much down for anything like yeah anything goes kind of thing <laughs> yeah pretty much anal <laughs> yeah gang bangs yeah. slaps in the face yeah spit, spit on the face yeah. spit in your mouth yeah. <laughs> girl girl yeah <laughs> uh i don't even know what i'm leaving out double anal yeah you done triple anal um with two dicks and a fist two dicks in a fist three dicks yeah. damn i didn't even <laughs> so. i didn't even think about fisting myself like wow uh dang so what's fisting like like how do you get ready for something like that um so like i mean i guess i kind of started with my own fist uh-huh. <laughs> and then i did double anal and then yeah, you gotta be pretty flexible to put your own fist in your butt yeah yeah <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of practice uh-huh. <laughs> um but yeah it just kind of like they're like hey do you want to try fisting i'm like sure and now then we're talking about fisting in the, in the cooch or fisting in the ass no in the ass in the ass okay uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, out of your three holes, what do you say is can take the biggest pounding? The throat, the ass, or the cooch? Ooh, um, probably my ass. Oh, your ass? <laughs> so the ass is the deepest. Yeah. All right, we're, we're here. So, um, how'd you, how long have you been performing? Um, a little over a year. A little over a year. Yeah. When you started, were you already doing anal and, and gang bangs and stuff like that? Like, um, off camera, yeah. Off camera, okay. <laughs> so when you started, like, what was your first scene like? Um, my first scene was a glory hole scene, and mm-hmm. it was, like, like 12 guys. Yeah. Um, and he basically just said, kind of, like, do whatever you want. So I'm like, oh, I could put it in my butt? Like, okay. Oh, so they so weren't even expecting you to, and you just did it? Yeah, no, I just kind of did it. Oh, wow. Like, I just kind of, like, backed onto them. That's amazing. That was fun. Damn, I wonder why they've been recommending, me, <laughs> <laughs> recommending you <laughs> to get you. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so it was 12 guys, and uh, did you swallow everything? Yep. And was it easy to keep down 12 loads of cum from 12 um, different guys? It, like, messed with my stomach a little bit, but I kept it down. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It kept it down? Yep. All right, word. So, um, <laughs> when was it when that you did, like, the first anal scene? Um, my, like, just, like, one-on-one total anal. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple months into my career. Yeah, I've done anal at, like, the glory hole and stuff, but, like, my first just anal scene was, like, a couple months into it. Okay. Have you ever had an agent representing you to get you work? No. No. Um, the reason why I ask is, like, I get, like, a lot of girls that tell me, like, oh, me, my agent told me to wait for anal, wait for double gang bang, wait for this, wait for that. So they ended up waiting the long or whatever. And, and um, with you, it seems like you just went ahead and, and, and went all out, and it's working out great for you because now you're, like, marketed as this chick who is down for whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, it, yeah. that's, that's worked you, out should be, you should be definitely be proud of that. Um. So, let's get into your, your background a little bit. Uh, okay. First of all, what's your ethnicity? Um, I am Finnish and Swedish. Finnish and Swedish, yeah. okay. So, um, where'd you grow up at? I grew up mostly in Arizona. Um, I was born in Michigan, but I don't really mm-hmm. remember much of it. Got you. Grew up in Arizona. Yep. And uh, how old were you and lost your virginity? I was 18. 18. Yep. And then, um, when did all the anal and gangbangs and stuff come? Um, when I was... 23 after I met my husband and then got married after you met your husband and yeah, got he, married yeah he introduced me to all of that he oh so he puts he he's the freak then right yeah he's yeah, the one who puts you fault. in oh okay got you all right yeah <laughs> that's 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 kind of I so what's it like being married and doing porn I mean I guess it it flows good if your husband's yeah. all with the shits too yeah he's really yeah. supportive and like he holds camera for me when I do my own stuff and did he is he did he convince you to just do porn um, no, actually it was, uh, a friend got me to like camming mm-hmm. and a couple of my customers were like, Hey, you should try porn. And like, there was this one guy that worked with the glory hole site and he was like, Hey, I work at this glory hole site and I know you're local. Um, so you should give it a try. Um, and I went home and told my husband like, Hey, what do you think of me giving this a try? And he was like, go for it. No. Oh, okay. So. Cool, cool. Cool. So, um, your, your your husband's okay with all this kind of stuff. Yep. Like, uh, have you had sex with guys right in front of him? Like he's in yeah. the same room watching it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and um, I guess you guys have threesomes with other girls too. Oh yeah. Everything yep. goes right. Everything Absolutely. goes smooth. Um, 
Wow, it's, it's, it's very different. Some people are probably watching like, oh, how does this work? <laughs> yeah. There's no jealousy? Not really. Um, I mean, at the beginning, we needed to just kind of talk through some things because it was new for both of us. Yeah. But yeah, jealousy is never really an issue. Jealousy is not yeah. really an issue. Um, so I guess you guys could probably just discuss everything, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so what's the most amount of guys you, you fucked in like one night with, with your gangbang parties that you do? Ooh. So not counting the glory hall, I think 10. 10 guys? 10 guys. 10 guys in one night. Yeah. What's the most amount of guys you fucked in one week? In one week? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> probably like 30. 30 guys maybe? in one week. Wow. There's some <laughs> girls who, who claim they don't even have sex with 30 guys in a lifetime. Yeah. And you're knocking out 30 a week. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. It's a good life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, is it any conflicts with like your personal life, with your career choice? Um, not Cause really. Because it seems like you know, hubby cool with it. Yeah. So, so I what started, the fuck else could it be? I know? was like working full time when I first started, but it wasn't really an issue because it was more of a technical job, so not a lot of people really even saw me. Um, but yeah, now I just do this full time, so it's not an issue at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you prefer anal over regular sex? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> why, why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. I think I just like the feeling of being stretched and mm-hmm. you can just feel it more in your ass. I don't you know. feel it like more in your ass. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so let's talk about, uh, for, for the people that don't know how, how it goes, like, you know, prepping for anal scenes. Do you use, like, butt plugs? Are you walking around with them on? Not really. Like, mm-hmm. when I first started, I used to use butt plugs, but now I just kind of, like, use my fist. You use your fist just to get ready. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, I start with, like, one finger and uh-huh. then, like, warm myself up, add another, and then, like, my whole hand's in there. So. Wow. Are you using lube or are you a no-lube girl kind of, um, like, barely lube? Yeah, just barely lube. Barely lube. Wow. <laughs> You're a savage. <laughs> what do they make you? <laughs> so are you into like painful things like BDSM, Dom? Yes, okay, all yes. right. Makes sense then. Yes. Makes sense. All right. So you like to get your ass whipped a little bit. Absolutely. Scars and bruises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that can affect your like money though with like yeah. shooting, right? Because they don't want you if you're like bruised up. There's, there's some directors yeah. that won't take you. You got a mosquito bite. Right. Yeah. So that you got to like schedule that. Plan in uh-huh. advance. Yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, you, I guess you... Uh, indulge in swinging, yes. like swinger parties and yeah, shit like not that. Not so much since I've enjoyed the industry, but uh-huh. before. Yeah. Um. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, let's talk about like uh, the good things in porn that you like. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure like you know the freedom and flexibility. Is yeah. this is this like your full time gig? It is now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, ever since uh, January. That's uh-huh. when I started doing it full time. And, and you started like around last year, right? You said. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and you travel often. Yeah. Have yeah. you been to like Miami to shoot? Yeah, I've been to Miami. I've been to the East Coast. Mm-hmm. I've been to Prague. What do you like shooting at the most? Is it LA or Miami or what? I think probably Miami. Yeah. yeah. So I haven't been to LA, but some people tell me LA is like mad. Some c- can be mad strict and uh. Like, like too much of like work environment I guess I don't know you know too structured or some shit yeah but uh Miami motherfuckers get popping you know what I'm saying yeah it's just kind of yeah. like oh whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and then uh the east coast is just like more amateur pr- companies amateur mm-hmm. producers but there's still a couple guys doing their thing out there yeah, mm-hmm. um so um what about the bad things in porn it's gotta be some downside too um I mean, a plus side is travel, but it's also kind of a downside because it keeps me away from my husband. Oh, okay, got so you. That's kind of hard. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you ever just bring him on? I mean, you might as well just bring yeah, him with you. Yeah, sometimes. okay, like, yeah. Especially when I shoot my own content. Uh-huh. Um, he usually does camera, like if there's no one else around, so he comes with me. Mm-hmm. But if it's for like studio shoots. Does he perform or, with you too? Um, not yet, no. Not yet? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, might as yeah. well. Like. <laughs> one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. working on it. All right, so being away from your husband mm-hmm. is definitely a bad side. Yeah. Um, but um, do, you, do you, like, get, I don't know, like, when you go online and you see, like, the comments, does negative comments ever bother you? 
Not too much. Doesn't um, it affect you, right? Not really. That's I good. I kind of enjoy laughing at that. Yeah, I, yo, <laughs> listen, comments be having me fucking rolling. Yeah. Like, the kind of shit people <laughs> say, like, on, on, like, X videos and Pornhub and shit. Right. Underneath <laughs> the videos, it be fucking having me dying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Some of the DMs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've seen you uh, in L.A. recently, work with a couple companies, like, Who's some people that you haven't worked with yet that you would look forward to? Um, so I'm just kind of starting to get more into the mainstream stuff. So I haven't worked with too many like mainstream companies or mm-hmm. people. Um, I think one person I'd really like to work with that I haven't yet would be Jack Slayer. Okay. Because he was like my porn crush before I started porn. <laughs> All right, word, word, word. So. All right, Jax, if you're listening, hey. slide in the DM, bro. <laughs> Get that content made. Yeah. You, you uh, of course, shoot your own content as well. Yes. With, uh, yeah. Would you yeah. say you make more money doing content trades or? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I prefer to own my stuff. Yeah, yeah, you might as well nowadays. That's that's what things are moving to. People mm-hmm. are like shooting to own their own content instead yeah. of just getting paid one time. Rather just you know get the, and um. What's your biggest money maker? Is it OnlyFans? Yeah, I think right now it's OnlyFans. Everybody is just OnlyFans right now. <laughs> especially they got with the, the They got the fucking championship belt right now. Yeah. Um, especially with the quarantine. With, uh, let, let's talk about that. Has it... I'm pretty sure you shot less. Yeah. Well, oh, less often. Way less. Because yeah. we like, had a production hold. Yeah. Nobody was shooting. Yeah. Now people are starting to get back into it. The mm-hmm. way it works is uh, when we get tested, we just get tested for coronavirus too. Yep. It's pretty, pretty simple. So, you know, of course, if you come back negative you're good if you come back positive you know good. you're not good <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but uh you did you see an uptick on your content that you sell on OnlyFans yes absolutely I think you know being home from work people are just you know wanting to uh spend a little more yeah time. especially when you got all that you got a lot of hardcore content on yeah. your there yeah. yeah so um if someone's subscribing to Rebel Riders OnlyFans <laughs> What can they expect? Like, um, th- is it fisting videos? Um, of me doing myself, yes. Yeah. <laughs> some platforms don't allow the fisting for some reason. Um, I think it's like mad yeah, obscene and shit. You know, I usually just, I'm kind of vague with it. I'm mm-hmm. just like, hey, having fun, like with myself. Yeah, <laughs> having fun by myself yeah. and there's a whole yeah. hand in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fun. Does it ever scare you? Like, you remember like... Not really, no. What if your hand gets stuck? Um, I guess I can't have it, right? I mean... It went in, so it could hmm. probably come out. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, you gotta have some crazy sex stories. Like, <laughs> what's the most whole shit you ever done? Oh my god. Um, so this was within the industry, but it was like totally spontaneous. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was going to like shoot with just like a one-on-one scene, um, but more people kind of kept joining so it turned into like a 14 person orgy <laughs> oh spontaneously yeah, yeah it we wasn't went, expected yeah we went like three hours it was great and y'all caught it on film <laughs> yep oh wow yeah wow. people who, had their phones if you don't mind me asking or, who else was there um it was uh so bbc titans uh, okay richard mann oh yeah shout um, out to richard mann he's cool that's people. the homie yeah um helena yeah. price was there uh-huh. um maxine x um yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Maxine X is hot. So is oh, Helena. Yeah, she's, she's great. I haven't both worked with them, them yet, both but of them are great. I haven't worked with them yet. But would you recommend? Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna take your recommendation. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out to them because they're both hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I like milk chicks too. Me too. Where, where, where? So, um, do you have any like embarrassing moments, especially like dealing with anal? Yes. Does, does <laughs> shit happen? Shit happens, right? Yes. Yes, um, <laughs> Has it really affected a shoot to the point that like, like it couldn't it continue or something like um, that? Um. So, my second shoot ever <laughs> was also a glory hole shoot. Mm-hmm. Um, I was anal prepping because I was like, you know, I read that you needed to prep before. So, I yeah. bought those little um, saline enemas from the store. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know that you were supposed to dump out the solution <laughs> and replace it with water. Um, and the solution contains a laxative. Uh-huh. So, about, you know, 30 minutes into the shoot, you know, a guy was like, you know, pounding my ass and he pulled out and it was like, Covered. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Damn. Yeah. So and, uh, we stopped, cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, you know. I've seen it happen on set before yeah. too. Um, it's not the worst thing. No. 
you just pretty much clean yeah, up yeah, and you get back to it. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I say maybe not everybody can be ready to perform in porn because you gotta still like be able to not, you gotta like stomach things, not be grossed yeah, out yeah. and still be focused enough mm -hmm. to still perform after some shit happens. Exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. All right, so um, are you excited about your making your debut on Freak Mob being here today? Excited. Yeah. Um, has Maury told you about like like the kind of things we we do and stuff? Um, I've actually seen some of her stuff on like her platforms. And yeah. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. 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 I've actually done one of these scenes with Maury before too, where it's like face fucking, yeah. some puking, yeah. spitting on her face. It's for like we got a little section of more fans that like like more hardcore shit mm -hmm. and it kind of like sells good and since you're a hardcore chick i was like you know what let me bring her on <laughs> to to do some shit like this yeah 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 all right so um have you been ever recognized like an airport or something no, like that not yet if i have been mm -hmm. no one said anything no one said anything yeah 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 some guys will see you and be shy so they're like oh my god that's yeah. her <laughs> What kind of requests do you get from your fans since you're like, you know, they ask you some, they got actually for some like weird over the top yeah, shit since they you know, know it, you. it ranges. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, one guy wanted to see me, um, like fist every hole, so like my mouth, my pussy, my ass, everything. Fist um, your mouth? Can yeah. your fist even? Can your fist even fit in your no. mouth? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he I'm wanted like, me to try though. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn. So you, I, I tried. <laughs> and, you, and you did try. I, I. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, no, I get, you know, pee requests. I get, um, people want to see Do you like, like being peed on like, too? Yes, I love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you like? Um, I'm not much for like foot massages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like, other people's feet is cool, but yeah. my feet are ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> so you really don't, you don't, it's a really a long list of shit you like. And a short list of shit that you don't like. One thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, well, like the the double vag, scene, I mean the double anal scenes that you do, is it like uh, much different than just anal for you? Like, um, not too much. I mean, like once once you're all prepped and stretched and lubed up and everything, it just kind of it feels like a little more stretched out than normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have a, a specific kind of lube that you prefer? No, no, not really. I like okay. coconut oil, but... Yeah, 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 the natural shit. Yeah. Coconut oil goes good, yeah. Um, so, how about now, you say you've been porn a year. How many scenes do you think you've done? Um, you've shot? Like, paid scenes, like, not, not paid, your own content. Paid scenes. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, like... Oh, jeez. Like, 30? 30? 30? Maybe? That's a, that's a good, that's a decent yeah. number. That's a decent number. That's like, you know, in a year, you know, yeah. 52 yeah. weeks. Mm -hmm. So like not once every week, but not like two spaced out, you know, so right. that, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's really solid. Mm -hmm. uh, -huh. uh, how much longer do you see yourself doing it? Do you want to like have a long career? You want to do it until um, you become a sexy MILF? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I can see that. Gilf, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, go, fuck it. I'm on this shit for the long run. I'm like 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're. And, um, and you're producing your own content too. So, uh, mm -hmm. have you ever considered like, producing a scene that you're not performing in like just like let me get this this performer this actor have him like yeah yeah, yeah I've, I've discussed doing that like with my husband um, mm -hmm. in the future hopefully yeah directing <laughs> is fun yeah like a lot of people don't know man directing is directing porn is just as fun as fucking performing in it like seeing yeah. how it comes out i'm a total voyeur so <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you uh into public sex too um Watching it, but watching it, not doing it. I'm oh, you don't got the ball, so oh <laughs> <No>. wow, <laughs> damn, shit, 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 you put your whole fist up your yeah, ass, but you won't no. fuck, <laughs> fuck in the alleyway right quick. <laughs> I would be like freaking out the whole time, thinking you're gonna <laughs> get caught. Yeah, because you know, if you do get caught doing public sex, yeah. depending on what state you're in, yeah, you can fuck around, yeah. get registered as a sex offender. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, Especially someone in our line of work that yeah. could end up in rumors and shit. Right. And the motherfuckers be hating on you right. about this shit and shit like that. <laughs> Shit's weird. Um, so, um, I'm trying to think of what else we didn't cover today. What do you want the people to know about Rebel Rider? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just kind of like 
a nerdy girl that does it all. <laughs> You're a nerdy girl that does yeah. it all. You know, they say you gotta watch the quiet ones. Yeah. And this is a perfect <laughs> example of why you gotta watch the quiet ones. Because the quiet ones be on some shit. So, all right. I'm really excited about getting into this. Um, we're in Las Vegas. You like Vegas? I love Vegas. Yeah, it's just hot as shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, were, were you at AVN? Yeah. You were there? Yeah. Okay. This is my first year. Your first year? Mm-hmm. Any, any nominations? Nope. Not yet, but trust me. Maybe one day. They, they, one once, day. You, once you <laughs> pick up on these good people's radars, they're going to be like, all right, that chick Rebel Rider is, 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 is a hot chick. All right, so let's get into this team. Let's do Yay. this. Um, before we go, tell everybody where they can find you at. So Twitter, Rebel Rider. That's R-E-B-L-R-H-Y-D-E-R, triple X. And then Instagram, Rebel Rider. Um, OnlyFans slash Rebel Rider. Rebel Rider, guys. Make sure I check her out by her OnlyFans so you can see her put her fist in her own ass. And then also make sure I check out freakmobmedia.com for this scene when it comes out. All right, people? We are going to be out.